Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I try and do on this channel is cover productivity tools and techniques on how to use them across your day. So a little announcement from on my end. Um, I'm very excited that I reached 900 subscribers the other day and I'm kind of on the mini path to a thousand. So I wanted to thank everyone who's recently followed me but have also dropped me a comment or have tweeted me about any of my videos and I really appreciate that you guys like the videos that you guys are asking for improvements um, asking for more videos so I really appreciate that and that's getting all taken in by myself and I'm developing more and more editorial calendar content to go out very soon okay so in this video what I want to touch on is Trello and this has been something very interesting um, over the last few weeks, I've been using Trello more than I have any other tool out there so far, uh, even email, which is surprising. Um, and this was because I made the recent change to prioritize project management and Trello above all other things um, and to really give myself a, I don't know, just a new different experience that I don't normally get with the kind of task management information systems that I already have involved in my system, like Todoist and Evernote. So what I've done is I've jumped in on uh, to Trello and I want to show you something that's really effective when it comes to filter cards. Just to let you know, I'm a, uh, to do, Trello themselves have given me uh, a gold account, which is great. So thank you very much, guys. And they, they've sent me a lovely T-shirt too. Um, but I have no kind of affiliation with these guys. I don't, you know, take any of their money uh, or anything like that. So this is a completely honest review of the service. So let's get stuck in. Um, the feature I want to show you today is called filters. Uh, and you can find it over on the menu and you click filter. And basically it brings up all of the different, um, you know, there's loads of different colors and options here. Um, and it allows you basically to, um, it's almost like a layer. Um, so if I, you know, made a list over here, so I just type in demo, I made a card like test. Uh, what I could do here is to any of these cards, I can click edit labels and choose a label to go with it. So if I clicked uh, purple, um, it would come up purple. And if I typed in test two as a separate card, um, edit the label and clicked it green, say. Uh, what I'm demonstrating it being layers is when I click green, all of the green ones will be filtered. And if I click purple, all of the purples on, purple ones will be filtered. So it's a really cool way it's a bit like labels in in the way that you know you're you're putting a layer on something you can go a bit deeper on a specific card which is pretty useful right so the use case can be massive on this a lot of people just you know uh, I, for myself what i do is uh, let's say i've got test two test three i will have a label on a specific thing so um a, a filter card so if i was having one project here so this would be one project uh, this would be two project and this would be three project right so for example let's say you know it's that time of the day where i'm working on a specific project i'll click filter cards and then i'll go into the green project uh you know that could be something that i'm working on um and then you know later on in the day you know orange for that orange project that i'm working on and obviously all of these have titles so that's great on and being able to kind of just shuffle away a lot of things so there are many other use cases for these labels and i can show you this in kind of one uh, so what you can do straight away is if you're a kind of a uh, person that works off energy so for example you know i'm tired in the morning uh, that's inactive energy if i'm fairly mellow in the midday you know i can do heavy tasks that require a lot of my brain power to do that's active and proactive is where you're really pumped and you can do anything. So what you can do is you can actually name these labels. So I'm going to put proactive as green, um, active as yellow, and then um, inactive as, uh, what's that? That is um, orange. <laughs> uh, what you can do, so for example, let me just get rid of this list. Um, so here I'm going to make a new list called demo again. And then I'm going to make a task called uh, clear emails and reply to all. So let's say that's a task. Because it's inactive, I can tag it with the inactive task. Well, because it's something that requires a little, least amount of energy. Um, okay, another one could be email Bob about his new haircut. You know, these are th vital things in your day. Um, 
and I'm going to edit it and click inactive here too. Okay, so another medium active medium task is create the new uh, homepage for website. Um, actually, that's a proactive task, I think. <laughs> Seems quite heavy. So I'm going to click proactive. And then down here, I'm going to like write 100 words for report, right? And then that's a medium, uh, you know, inactive task, right? So now I've got all of these demonstrated up here. What you can do is, you know, throughout your day, uh, depending on the energy level you're at. So, you know, you you kind of see that you're slipping off and you want to actually get some tasks done, but your brain power isn't there. Let's say between, you know, eight and nine in the morning, you're still waking up and you actually want to get some stuff done. So you can simply hit inactive and find all of the tasks that you can complete that are inactive and that you can get working on straight away. Let's say, you know, after lunch, you're refueled, you're refocused, you're listening to all of your favorite songs. You can just hit proactive and see all the heavy tasks that you can do. You can also do this relevant to time. So, for example, if I went on to uh, these edit labels again, you could, you know, you could do this specific to 10 minute tasks uh, and this 20 minute task, um, 30 minute task. So you could you could do the exact same thing. So let's essentially say that these are tasks that take this period of time. Uh, what you could do is like, you know, I've got 10 minutes. Okay, I can do this task. Okay, I've got 20 minutes. Um, I've got 20 minutes overall, and uh, it includes a 10 and 10 and 20 minute task. Or I've got half an hour. What can I complete in half an hour that it takes specifically half an hour? Hopefully emailing Bob about his haircut doesn't take that long, um, but this is quite useful. The next thing you can actually use it on is priority. And for a lot of people, priority orientation is quite important because you can be able to jump in and see what you actually need to do. So what I actually do in my day is have a, alongside of the projects that I work on, is a priority tab. So I name the red one a priority tab because then I can pick it out from the kind of, you know, that's quite important and it's red and that's valuable. Um, so obviously what you can do is you can double tap two, ta two labels. So you can have a 30 minute one that's priority. And from here, you know, if I'm, if I'm throughout my day and I'm like, oh, uh, I need to actually see things that need to be prioritized or actually actioned as fast as possible. I can click priority and, and imagine all of those tasks come up here. You've got quite a few of them. It's quite important being able to see that kind of thing at scale. Um, so you can see all of the stuff, which is great. Okay, and finally, another thing that you can do with, uh, you know, another thing that you can do with this label system is be able to filter it through what equipment you need. So, for example, let's say this task uh, required a smartphone, uh, but this task over here required a PC. So what I could do is I could label throughout my day, you know, oh, this one's a smartphone, smartphone task. This one's a uh, PC task. And as you go across your day, you could have fil you could just quickly click smartphone and then get a filter of exactly, uh, you know, what device you need to complete um, at that specific time. So let's say, you know, you're just about to you're just about to get in a taxi and you want to see all of the tasks that you want to complete with a smartphone. So you can hit the smartphone filter and then see all of those tasks at a glance. And imagine that on scale two, you can see all of the stuff you can get on with, uh, which is pretty great. And uh, the brilliance of Trello allows you to set up, I believe, um, let me just make another card uh, for a demo. So I believe you can actually set up up to one, two, three, uh, 10, 11 cards. Uh, sorry, 10 cards. That's poor. Um, poor counting. Um, so you can set up to 10 different cards. So essentially you could have, you know, maybe three uh, time ones, uh, two priority ones, so maybe a lower priority and a higher priority, and also a couple of smartphone, you know, resource ones, potentially, and also maybe throw in one or two energy level ones. So that can be quite valuable to you moving forward with your productivity uh, and using this tool at scale. Because once you start adding, adding in a lot of stuff, and I wish I could show you some of my boards, this kind of stuff becomes really valuable because you're using a lot of there's a lot of different cards working on it i think i've got 70 cards at the moment and and just pressing those filter buttons helped me kind of really focus in on stuff which is great uh and you know this can be interpreted and played around with a lot you know i actually was using this with admin 
Um, so for example, if there's a point in my day where I want to get on with some admin work or I want to hit all of the tasks that have a high priority and that meet all of my targets that actually help me work towards them, it's just a click with the filter button. Anyway, guys, that was a short clip on how to use the filters for Trello. I'm looking to bring a few more tips, especially around the calendar features, the power-ups, the stickers, and a lot more, uh, and also the backgrounds and how they make your experience a little more interactive. interactive. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to have a great week and keep productive. Please do drop me a comment on the YouTube and I really love chatting with you guys. Tell me what video you want me to do next. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Cheers.